All right, and welcome to We Miss the Exit, the basketball random ass bo- uh, podcast. This is the We Miss the Exit NBA King of the Tag Your It Show. I'm uh, here with Brian and Evan. Evan, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Brian. Uh, just uh, hanging out, getting ready for the basketball season. All right, uh, your own season, right? Uh, all all seasons. Basketball. All season. Every season. All right, Brian, how about you? Doing great. Doing great. All right, I like a nice short great one. Uh, how's Rowan doing? He's doing great. Is he going to join us? Probably not. Oh, oh man, we could always use a Rowan uh, interview. All right, so we're going to get into our game that we have going. Again, this is one of those we're calling it King of the Hill, Tag Your It. Uh, the team that's winning gets to hold the trophy for how many days. And if a team comes in and beats that team that has the trophy, they then steal the trophy. So here is our first slide, just to give you a quick rundown. Uh, I'm Brent. I have eight wins. Kurt has two. Brian has zero. Evan has one. Uh, it's days. How many days you've held the trophy? And trophy wins, right? Trophy uh, days with the trophy. Days with the trophy is what it is. And so I'm starting with this slide, just saying, like, who? What do you guys feel is your your biggest surprise? Your negative and your positive. I know for me, my biggest negative so far has been the 76ers. Like I was contemplating putting them as my number one pick, and they are just they're crap in the bed. I don't know what they're doing, and I, I don't really have a positive surprise at all like maybe maybe the hawks at three and one but i expected my team to be a lot better but my team is just terrible yeah to be honest the magic was kind of a no-brainer like probably just shouldn't have never picked them <laughs> nope and then um what about you what do you feel brian what, what's your biggest uh negative and positive i mean my first round pick has got me one win yeah that's so rough that's problem that's the rough. Rest, if you look at my two, three, four, or five, you know, like I got three wins across. I got even my last pick. So I like that, but it's just my top and like the Pistons being a pissy pick. Evan, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking the Lakers were a pick that let me down for sure. I mean, their own four, no one really saw an own four start. Maybe a couple losses, but I mean, they shouldn't be own four. I think the Grizzlies, though. Their only loss happens to be against Golden State. Yeah. And that's the worst part for me. Yeah, and that was like towards the beginning of the season too. See, I think the Wizards have been your biggest surprise because nobody had them to win like anything at all. I think they were like bottom five of everybody's power rankings, and they're three and one so far. Yeah, but I mean, the whole point is to have the trophy, and the trophy's in the West right now. So it's, you know, just trying to get over the East Coast. <laughs> That that's what I'll, that's when I'll look into the Wizards and how they're doing. I was just thinking that way. If if the if the Heat had won the trophy last night, we'd be talking a little, a little bit differently about you know who's going to hold it in the future. But exactly. If the, if the Heat held on to the trophy, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think but, I think what we need to do is talk a little about about Kurt's team, the guy who started this thing and didn't even care, doesn't even know like half the teams, and he is twenty one yeah. and eleven right now. What is going he on? Even show up to the podcast. No, he can't even he can't even show up to his own little game or or, or anything. But yet yet his bottom two teams, his I mean, last two picks something. are kill, they're eight and two right now. They are killing it. I yeah. mean, he's drafting winning teams for sure, but I mean. He's held on to the trophy for only a couple of days. I mean, isn't that the total goal? Is yeah. Holding on to yeah. the trophy? Yeah. So Brent, who has the worst record by this standings, is technically winning the game. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, you got to look at it a different light, you know, and try and see who's cu- the upcoming schedule. You know? Yep. And as Kurt said, you know, this this thing that I created or, or that, you know, that we've been maintaining means nothing. And he's right. It means nothing. I love it, but it means nothing. Um, but yeah, it's all about how many days you can hold the trophy. So, all right, let's go on to the next one. It's, this is pretty much like a rundown of, uh, who's had the trophy and which days and everything. So as you can see, Golden State, I had it for three days. Then they lost it to Denver, who I also own. Kirk came in and snuck it and stuck around and grabbed it for Portland. And then Evan had it for a day, a day with Jimmy Buckets. (laughs) And then my Warriors took it back. The Warriors, uh... They, they came through in the final two minutes, and Jimmy wasn't anywhere. I don't know about you guys. Have you started watching more NBA games just to see where the trophy's going on? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I find myself just wanting to watch the game that where the trophy's going to go, and 
see what's going to happen with it. So I, I really like a spark in the interest of NBA. In this so, so. And that's what I kind of put in our text and in, in our group text. And I'm like, hey, I actually find myself waking up like, oh, I want to see who won. I want to see what happened with the game. Like, I'm paying attention to your guys' teams, teams I don't even care about. Um, Like Portland, I, I didn't have them. We, we talked about them being, you know, like a, a, a dark horse, but we didn't expect them to, you know, hold it for two days right away. Um, so because of my YouTube algorithm, I get to watch, uh, the NBA highlights the, they're like 10 minutes long from NBA.com, like first thing in the morning. And I always go to, uh, the team that had the trophy, like, did they win and did they lose? It's quick, a 10 minute run game. And like, it's pretty cool to watch first thing in the morning. Well, that's great, Brent, because, you know, that's, you're winning, so <laughs> yeah. it must be good to feel great. I'm, I'm, I'm riding high a little bit. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this. So I don't feel the same <laughs> as you Wakes up every morning, pisses sex. You know? <laughs> yes, I do. To be honest, I think this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you got to draft better. You got to draft better like, oh, well, Kurt, Kurt's well, drafting the best, the apparently. best drafted team. I just haven't had the trophy <laughs> That's tr- that's That's true. That's true. All yeah, right, there you know. should be. We should put some kind of like a maybe a side pod of uh, I said best that. record I said or something. First podcast, we each have to put in ten more dollars because then we're splitting it a third way. Of, you know. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I'd be okay with that, but that's also because. Oh, actually, no. I'd be end up losing. I have the worst record so far. Right, which would like kind of is makes it interesting. You know, that yeah, would but be. You would probably win a third because you're holding the trophy for the most. But either way, either uh, way, tonight's games. If, if there are three different ways to win, that could mean that there's only one person that doesn't get any money back. If, theoretically, if we had three different ways to win, oh, uh, that'd be cool. And then that person <laughs> has a punishment to do. Yes, money. yes. Like they have to stick their foot in a toilet bowl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and sing okay. in front of everybody. <laughs> Yeah, how embarrassing. <laughs> Those are two different things. Completely yeah. different things. Yeah. Things. All right. So here, here I have this slide. Like, how do you think your teams are going to do? Um, I, I think my teams are going to – like, I have some pretty good teams, but, like, uh, they're going up against good teams. Denver's going against Utah. I think I think they're going to win that one. Cleveland, I think, is going to lose to Boston. Um, and so I don't really have a whole lot of good games going on tonight. I hope the Knicks win. Yeah, uh, who who has the Knicks? You do, right, Brian? Of course. And Kurt has the Bucks. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good. Knock him down a few extra pegs, so that'd be nice. Evan, what yeah, about I you? Like Charlotte against Orlando. Yeah, you get to watch Charlotte like and, and Ben Carroll. And I get we can watch the Lakers lose again. How many <laughs> in a row are they going to play? I feel like they played like five games in a week. They, it, crazy. it did feel like they played like the first three days, like three right in a row, and then they they stopped for a little bit, and then they played again like yesterday, and now they're gonna play again. Yeah, too Seems much. Like a lot, a lot of games. All right, so here's the game tonight. Golden State has the trophy, and this is their next game. It's against Charlotte tomorrow night. This is what I was Evan, texting you guys. Evan can take the trophy. It's tomorrow. It's not tonight though, so it's not as exciting for tonight. No, it's it's gonna be tomorrow. And this is what I was texting you guys about. Like, hey, should I go to this? Should I go to this game just to say I got to see Golden State in their, you know, I mean, towards the end of their prime, but, you know, with Curry and all those guys? Uh, you should absolutely go to the game. I'm I'm with you to go because uh, it'd be really nice to see the trophy get passed over to me. <laughs> in person. In yeah, absolutely. In and person. I mean, it would be honored. I'd be honored if you went. <laughs> I'm, yeah, from like 500 feet away, or you can save your money and go see the Knicks at potentially the Garden, or is it still in Charlotte? It's, it's going to be in Charlotte in December. Well, that's fine. You get to see the Knicks. Why yeah. You do that? E- either way. Because, maybe. He, because it's near Charlotte, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's easier for him. Yeah, yeah unless you're in the same place. All right, I'll, maybe, maybe <laughs> if this, maybe if this podcast takes off and get a little revenue from this podcast, then maybe I could afford to go to both games, and then everybody would be happy. So we need to get you what ninety five dollars? Ninety five dollars, <laughs> ninety five dollars for a terrible seat for Golden State, and ninety five dollars for a good seat with the Knicks. Yeah, so you're back and touch the ceiling. Pretty much. Ninety-five dollars <laughs> for a good seat with the Knicks? Are you crazy? Yeah, it's gonna it, be way more expensive than the MS. Like bathroom stall, yeah. standing room only. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be out by the, uh, uh, the, the security check. Like that's where my seat is. All right, all right. So, all right. Here is Golden State's schedule. If you guys can see it. So, um, where do you think they're going to lose next? That's what I want to know. Like. Uh, like, we joke around about them losing to Charlotte tomorrow, but, like, legit, where do you think they're going to lose? They have Charlotte, Detroit, Miami, Orlando, New Orleans, Sacramento, Cleveland. What are we thinking? Uh, I hope New Orleans, but all the teams about uh, – Detroit would be a nice surprise for me, but I think the other teams are Evans. 
I I really like that I have Charlotte and Miami um, with Detroit in between. I mean, Detroit, you never know. Uh, I mean, Draymond himself said, you know, playing the weaker teams are sometimes the hardest ones. And then I also like Miami coming in for revenge, you know. Oh. It could be a good uh, All right. one-two combo here. So I could see Detroit winning because it's back-to-back right after Charlotte. And then if you look a little bit after that, New Orleans. You have New Orleans, right, Brian? I do. Yeah, Ingram just went down, but if he comes back healthy, that's also a back-to-back right after Orlando. So I could also see that happening. And then Evan has two Sacramentos set up. So I don't the know. Only team, the only person that doesn't have a team on the spread is the – was it the – Kurt the green team. Yeah. That, that, no, the, blue yeah team? the blue team. Kurt. Yeah. He's the only Kurt's one without a team. Kurt is blue team. I think the team with the best chance is either going to be Evan with Miami or you with New Orleans. Or you with the current <laughs> trophy. Holder. Or yeah. Or yeah. Or, or even Cleveland all the way at the bottom. Do they win out? I mean, this would be a gnarly schedule to win out. I mean, these are, I mean, half the games are hard. Yeah, it's either like pushover teams or tough teams. Like Miami, New Orleans, and Cleveland are all really tough teams. Yeah, big peaks and valleys for sure. Yeah. All right. I think the next thing I don't remember. All right. So this is this is our little fantasy league that we're oh, all we're all in, and uh, this is what's going on so far. And right now, Brian's going to end up with a better record as of right now this morning. But if we were to play each other face to face, you guys would be winning. I already looked. We were, yes, I was actually looking at that exact thing too. I was like, all right, so where do we stack up against Brian? And it yeah. it it'd be what uh, five three or or yeah five three right. Yes, but this is a league where you get the winner, you get the loss. Okay. Oh, for the week, right? Right, which yes. I think evens out. I prefer and that. You'd be like, well, I was the best rebound in the whole season. It's like, okay, you got one category every week. And that, I mean, like, you get the winner, you get the loss. And I think this evens out. And I think regardless, you know, 14 weeks from now, we'll see. if teams are having the same amount of wins, they're, you know, they can fight in any category. Yes. My only issue with this is an eight cat. Like Yahoo is nine cat, nine categories. Mm-hmm. And so like it could end up being four, four. I don't like that. Like I wish like Yahoo has turnovers. That's the only thing that's missing. And I, and I wish they had that or at least a different stat. So it wouldn't be four, four. It'd be five, four. So this way there's no tiebreaker. I do like the way that you can like go for the tie to avoid a loss. But I also kind of um, like the way that turnovers hurt you. And there's nothing here that can hurt you besides field goal and free throw percentage. Yeah. Yeah, and and because well, that would play a role in like, well, who do you want to pick up in the free agency? Do you need a guy that's going to give you points but could give you a lot of uh, turnovers? Like, what are you going to go? What are you going to go with? Right. I don't know, Evan. How are you liking our team? I don't know how how uh, <laughs> second it up because I have not paid attention to it. Uh, I've I've been very close to wanting to drop Marcus Smart, but we are despite the fact that we picked two point guards right <laughs> in a row. We are point yeah, guard. You are not. Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was, I'm so torn. I'm like, I want to draw Marcus Smart, but Evan said, nope. There's only one person I'm drafting this whole thing, and it's Marcus Smart. I'm like, all right, I'm leaving him alone. Gonna leave him uh, alone. Yeah, Smart and Bancaro. That's the two players that I request. That <sighs> all right. Bancaro. He's been killing it. Right. A lot of turnovers. I mean, not good shooting he's percentage, on a team but that's gonna. You know, no one's looking at this team to do anything well. And obviously, yeah, they they're not doing him. well at all. No. But, like, you look at him in college, you're like, this guy was built for the NBA already. Like, yeah. He looked massive in college. So, it was like a 6'9 I mean, or 6'10. dominate once he jumped in. Absolutely. Yeah. And he's still, like, what, like 14 years old at this point? Basically. Yeah. All yeah, right. How about my team name? Down by the Bay. I, I, I do like that. I give, I give that, like, a B. You know a B. the next line to that? Uh, where the watermelon grows. Back to my home. I dare not go. For if I do. My mother would say. Have you ever seen a goose kissing a moose? Uh, twice. Yeah, but that was that was over in Wisconsin. Oh, huh? god damn it. All you had to say was that. <laughs> oh, I messed that up. Oh. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> all right. All right, on to uh, the mystery player, I think. Yes, all right. Here's my mystery player that I picked for you guys. All right, as you can see, he isn't in the league as of right now. Um, I believe he's still in the free agency. Like a team could pick him up if they wanted to. Um, so oh um, this guy, he, he was, as you can see, he was pretty big for a while. Like his, he, when he was on his team, the team didn't, I don't think they did very well when he was on that team. 
So when he was starting to get... I remember Miami doing well, yeah, for 2015, 16, 17. He had 100% three-point three percentage. That's because he made one. It's because he made one. It was like a half-court shot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I shot 100% uh, when I was on JV from three-point range. It's because I shot... four games, though. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, but but he's a center. He's a, he all right. He's a typical back to the back center, and actually, like who's, he doesn't really have an Utah, offensive game. Who's uh who's Utah's center? Or who was Utah's center last year? Well, Eaton. apparently this guy. Eaton. Eaton. Mark Eaton. What is this? The eighties? No, DeAndre Eaton. <laughs> oh, oh, DeAndre Eaton. DeAndre. No, no, no. no. He was the Suns. Utah. Utah. Yeah, Suns. Yeah. Was, uh, Gobert. No? Gobert. Yeah, it was Gobert. Yeah, Gobert was the uh, Utah center. And this guy was boozer? the backup. No, this is yeah, the boozer. The boozer. <laughs> Did Carlos boozer, boozer retire back in like like back like seven back. years ago? Yeah, <laughs> probably All right. Evan. All right. Um, what do you think? I don't know who the backup is. Um, uh, he, if you look like if you look at blocks, he was a big time blocker and rebounder. That's what you got to look mostly. at. That's what he's mostly known for. Is it? Uh, he's not a good defensive player, but a lot of blocks. Yeah, I don't know. Man. That's tough. It's it's hard. It, it was a pretty pretty hard one. When you hear the name, you're gonna know who it is. Yeah, hold on. All right. Um, you think you got it? No, but I gotta give it a guess. Bro. Yeah, you gotta give it a guess too. At least give it, it a guess. Matter. You got you gotta throw something out. Yeah. Yeah. Can I use Google or <laughs> use Google? You, right. Come on, that was that, that, nah. I'm joking. Yeah. Right. No Google. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, his his last name is two syllables they are two common words put together almost like a compound word so hmm. i don't is think he went to college too? is that portland with mellow and uh dame and oh yes that i think that would have been with those two guys and then he went to Sacramento again, and Sa then Utah, and now he's not playing. Like what? I don't remember him with Sacramento, and I don't really remember him with Utah the last two years. But he was mostly known as the Miami thing because, as you can see, Definitely he was Sacramento. No. Uh, nope, he went to Sacramento. Just, I'm just claiming it's definitely not him. Nope. Um, wow. Uh, it's not Aldridge. I'm just trying to think uh, of Miami centers, centers, on centers in that time period. When they were terrible. No one cared. Nobody cared. LeBron and Dwayne Wade. Yeah, nobody cared. You're right. You're right. Nobody cared during the time. That's why he put up the numbers it's that not he did. Bam. It can't be Bam. Bam no. was no. Miami. Wasn't Bam. Was only like, yeah. He Wasn't was like Bam. Three years in. I think so, yeah. They got rid of this guy for yes. Bam in 2020. Look at that. Yes. That's in Portland. I, th I, I think when he left, that's when Bam was like, all right, I'm, I'm showing up, everybody. Did pretty good on Portland. All right, uh, I don't and, know. Yeah, yeah, he did. Because because Nurkic went out. This is Hassan Whiteside. Ah, oh. okay. You guys yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do know who you're talking about. Yeah, big. He, he looks. He looks like a I, doofus. I it was. He wasn't even on my radar. On radar. But, yeah, I was thinking it was Dwayne Dedman, but that would have been a good no because I think Dwayne Dedman was. Oh no, he was Atlanta. He might have been on Sacramento at some point. That would have been a good guess. But I didn't guess it. Nah. No, ah. Should, man. All right. And now, Brian, right, you have Brian, one for us, this right? This is my segment now. So All right. you've got 30 seconds to name that Nick. And whenever you click the slide, I start the timer. Oh, I, I clicked it already. Go ahead. Okay. Name that Nick. Name that Nick. He started with Chicago. Then went to the Knicks. Oh, um, is that the uh, Handles? Handles. Um, Crawford. Eight seconds. That, yeah, is that Jamal your is that Jamal Crawford? Crawford? Yes. Wow, yeah. yeah, that's right. Right. Let's you know what, go. what gave it away was oh, the Atlanta God. thing. It was the Atlanta thing that gave it away because I'm like, I remember him really? being big on Atlanta because I think that's when he won sixth man of the year was around that time. You didn't even get to that point in your speaking. I thought it was Clippers, man. He had a few years on the Clippers. I remember. He, he did, yeah, but I think he won sixth man when he was with Atlanta. Because I remember that being a huge thing. Because I think he was complaining about. It. He's like, "I, I want to be the starter. I want to be the starter." I'm like, "Well, you're really good as the uh, backup here." So. Yeah. 
All right, so you got it in eight seconds. Next week, if you get it in more than eight seconds, uh, that's a victory for me. If you get it in less, then I need to do better. <laughs> eight seconds. That's the new. That's the new uh, uh, threshold there, huh? The new. I'll new find bar. a Nick that you can't get in eight seconds from the 2002 era to now. Okay. All right. I was gonna say. You- I, I only started following the Knicks around 2002, 2003. You could do like like old historic guys, and I'm like, I'm not going to get them. Like, no, I only I'm know the big name guys. Far. I was thinking about Landry Fields, but I feel like you have wet dreams about him, so I decided to do that. <laughs> I do have his jersey. I do. But he would have been easy to figure yeah. out because he was only on the Knicks for like two years, then Toronto, and then left after like three or four years. He would have been easy to get. Yeah, like a six-year career. Yeah. Yeah, still made a buttload of money, though. So and now he's like partial owner of the Hawks. Your career yeah. off a whim. Yeah, right. Like, like no, uh, he would already knew. A he sec- got that in three seconds, Brian. He he was a second round pick, and like he ended up making millions off like a stupid contract. And he's like, I'm out, guys. Later. Good for him. Good for him. Go Landry. Um. All right, you guys. Anything else? Anything you're looking forward to with uh, basketball or anything else? No, I'm just pretty pumped for a couple games against. Golden State, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. You. This is going to be a big, a big outcome in the next few days. How about yourself, Brian? Feeling good. Feeling uh, a little weird being thirty, and all, but <laughs> feeling good. That's right. Happy birthday, there, Brian. You got a good one. Thanks, Brent. Yours is in uh, a couple days as Co- well. A couple days. Yep, I'm in a little bit more than thirty. Older as fuck. Yeah. I yes, I am. All right, guys. Well, if we got nothing else, then, you know, this is We Miss the Exit and come back next week and we'll talk about more about this uh, tag of the King Hill basketball thing or whatever it is. All right. Bye. All right. Have a good time. Adios.